Auntie Jackie broke the internet when she announced she had a pal with ABH and Asajj Beverly Hills. If you don't know what that is, so of course your girl had to cop it because I support everything Auntie Jackie does because she's Auntie Jackie. And if you don't know, Auntie Jackie is Jackie Ina, who is one of the biggest YouTubers in the world currently and probably going down in history as one of the biggest YouTubers. I feel like I've mentioned her in previous videos, so you know I am a Jackie stan. So yeah, she came out with a palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is her first collab, I believe. Definitely first eyeshadow collab, which Jackie serves eyeshadow looks for the chocolate girls, and I love it. I'm here for it every time. It's crazy because when she first announced it, they had the date. So you know when they, at least with ABH, I think pretty much probably every brand does it, but for sure ABH. Um, they'll release it on the website first and then release it into the store but Jackie actually had a early link a day early from the online link to order it off her Instagram and when I tell you that thing sold out in 10 minutes I got distracted because I was refreshing all the way up to the time and then when I finally figured out the time it was like 14 minutes later and everything was sold out and I was so heated but I just you know picked my crown back up put it back on my head and bought it the next day and I did not miss a beat and I got it a couple days ago. So yeah, that's just my background story on why I went through to get this palette. Nothing too crazy, but you know. I got it, so boom. I would say so boom way too much. So the outside is pretty. I don't think I've ever seen holographic. Holographic is so played out lately because everybody's trying to do it to be different. But this is different holographic. Like usually the silver holographic, I've never seen the gold holographic and it looks so jacky so cute so that's just the box it comes in you know with all the ingredients and all of that and then open that up and i will say i don't know if you may have this problem this thing is hard to get out it's a little looser now because i've done it a couple times but anyway so here's what it looks like again it's the goaty looking holographic and you can see it's like snake skin it's so dope and I, I don't have that many Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I just have Modern Renaissance and Soft Glam. So I don't know if people have changed the look. You know, the usual Anastasia Beverly Hills palette case. Jackie's is completely different. And I just feel like this will get less. Let me show y'all. Okay, I took the rest of it off. I don't want to be too distracting. So it might come back later. I don't know. So here are all my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. You can see, first of all, first one I got, Modern Renaissance. These been through the mud. I think everybody can relate to their Modern Renaissance looking like this. I think people's are worse than mine. They probably use it more than I do. But yeah, it's like that velvety material which gets dirty and so hard to clean. Jackie's, it's not. It's like harder material and it's still soft, but it's like, like snake skin. It's like, kind of like leather which I like a lot, so it's probably won't get as dirty. Even if being a lighter color, probably won't get as dirty as even Soft Glam did. Okay, so what we've all been waiting for, let me not prolong it. Of course, it comes with 14 shades in baby. Y'all have probably already seen it a million times, so you know what it looks like. But baby, these shades, is my ring light even doing it? Hold up. Like, do y'all see these colors? Aren't they just beautiful? Auntie Jackie did that. She did that. All these colors are so Jackie. Just period. Just so Jackie. So the colors in the palette range, she has her matte, she has her shimmers. They all are so pigmented. Like, the hype is real. Happening. You can see on my face right now, of course, I did so makeup look using just the palette. And I think this pigment is popping. I didn't use, like, setting spray on the brush then pick up the pigment no that's how it came i'm, I'm probably gonna try to insert some swatches i was supposed to do a few swatches now but the colors i use are you'll see 
don't worry about it. Keep watching and then you'll know what colors I used. But anyway, yeah, these colors are so pretty and pigmented. And I just think Jackie did that. And all the names are so Jackie. Big Wig, Shookington, Edges, because, honey, she's taking everybody's edges with her. Baby, baby girl, baby girl. Edges are going to be gone if you get this palette. So precaution, beware. But, yeah, I don't really know how, have much more to say about it. Like, y'all see how I achieved this look with the palette. And... I say because of pigments it they're soft and buttery which you wouldn't expect anything less from Anastasia Beverly Hills but just the color payoff and just the tones of the color is what I think everyone loves because they're so chocolate girl friendly like nothing seems like it's gonna look ashy on me as a chocolate girl and I just know for anybody darker than me they will love this palette as well because we are being included and that's why everybody loves Auntie Jackie so much. If you don't know Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina, you should because she just makes sure everyone is included and involved and we matter as much as anybody else does. Okay? Got it. So yeah, I'm not going to ramp on too much. Love the palette. Two thumbs up. Everybody should get it. And just to support Auntie Jackie in general, but not even just to support her. It's really a really good palette for my first impression. I will be creating some more looks. So all my looks I'll probably create this week will probably be using, if not exclusively, mostly this palette. So stay tuned and go ahead and get into this makeup look. All right, y'all already know what's going on. Let's get into this Jackie Ina and Asajj Beverly Hills palette. So let's get right to it. I need some music. I'm putting some music really low in the background because I can't do this. Acapella. Okay, I can hear the music, but hope y'all cannot. I don't know if our children hear the palette right here. Okay, I don't want to dig into the purples. I do want to dig into the purples so bad because purple is my favorite color. And these purples are so pretty, but literally everybody has been doing the looks with the purple side. So in an effort to set myself apart, I think I'm gonna dip more into the pink sides of things. All right, so to start out though, I think I'm gonna go in with edges. Which is, you know, kind of a brickish orange shade. I was thinking ginger, but I think I might go in with that later if need be. So I'm going to take the brush that go, comes with the palette because these brushes be clutch. They're not like in my everyday, but when I use any of my nostalgia palettes, they work well. So take the fluffy end into the edges. Actually, pause before I do that. I need to prime my eyes. That was just gonna let me just go in to the shadow when I prime my eyes. Y'all are not real. So I'm gonna take the Too Faced Shadow Insurance to prime my eyeballs. All right, eyeballs are primed. So now it's time to go in with edges and blend into the crease. Girl, I ain't never want to stall like that. Uh -uh. Taking you for granted ain't a flaw I get. I'm sure you never heard it raw like that. No, if I never walk away, it ain't no need for me to crawl right back. Did I fall like that and get my all like that? Miss a call, then I call right back. God, I'm thinking you with all I get. I know you great at everything, but I ain't know that you could draw like that. Cause this will work on See, I definitely do want to go in with ginger to kind of blend out the color as a more transition color, if you will. Okay, so now I think I just want to go ahead and go in with the start of the show, which is Wigglies, this kind of reddish, deep pinkish, sparkly color. It's so pretty, so I really want to play with that one and see how that goes all across the lid. Jackie, sis, now I see why. Okay, I see the hype, because this is going on dry, like no setting spray or nothing. And it's like pigmented as hell. It's kind of not even what I was really expecting. Woo, this could be pretty. I like where this is going. So far, I'm impressed with the pigment child, Wigglies. Jackie is coming for edges, boo. Honey, I didn't even lay mine down because I knew they were going to get snatched by this palette, baby. This is this is it. I 
I like where this is going. Maybe make me think I gotta do a little makeup, maybe just a little bit, just a little bit. Y'all, I'm an idiot, and I literally do this for every palette. I'll be sitting here looking in the mirror, struggling, trying to see myself around this freaking Anastasia Beverly Hills logo, and I keep forgetting I just had to peel this off. I promise I am college educated. I promise I'm smart. There we go. See? Much better. <laughs> okay, this is drama. When I put the lashes on, it's really going to pop. I'm trying to figure out how I can play into Supreme and Pinker, because I want to do more than just wiggle leaves. I just watch both of these and see what they're hitting for. You for granted, ain't a flaw I get. I'm sure you never heard it wrong like that. No, if I never there's Supreme. That's more for a very pretty pink muted look. I don't think that's gonna be right for this look. Let's see what Pinker is talking about. Pinker's cute, kinda of like a purpley. More purple than a purpley pink. More purple than I thought. I don't know. Okay, I'm back. I took a second to play around with this eye to figure out exactly what I want to do. So I kind of know the direction I want to go in. So I'm going to show you what I did on this side. We can finish the look out. First, I took the brush that came with the palette and took the other end and dipped into Zam. Because I said I want to do a little gold sparkle. Add a little something, something. So I put that on the inner corner. And when I tell you this glitter is buildable. Kind of loose glitter. It's probably not that much fallout. Just a little bit just because it is glitter. But I was prepared. I came super baked up prepared for the fallouts. But other than that, it's really not that much fallout. So just taking that into the inner corner. Like zits. Then I decided to darken things up a bit and go in with credit. Try to stay away, but I can. My looks always have to have a... a a brown deep brown in there i love a deep brown color so put that on the outer corner and take your time with this one because it can get muddy real real quick so don't rush it blend it out like pack it on first then blend it out so you have better control how much you're spreading Then of course, make sure we go back in with the star of the show, Wigglies. Anywhere I see, it needs to be popping. These colors are so pigmented. Jackie did a good job and they're working for women of color, which is what everybody's saying. Everybody's saying these colors are so chocolate girl friendly which is always good with me and i agree these don't really scare me they're like the right hue shade for dark skin. sometimes it'd be too y'all know y'all know what happens when they don't get it right it just the shade is just ashy looking and you can tell it's not gonna look right on you but there's a way to turn that shade into a chocolate friendly shade but whatever now i take my wet and wild mega liner and line my eyes I'm gonna go in my last sensational mascara. I'm gonna line my eyes with my wet and wild black eyeliner. I went ahead and put my mascara on. Now I'm gonna put my lashes. I have so many lashes to choose from. Not so many, only four. But these are lashes I'm testing out for. Who knows? But, um,. There's a poll on my Instagram, so y'all should be following me on Instagram and watching my stories so you can see there's a poll on which ones y'all like better, the silver or the gold. So I guess, you know, y'all can pause here, take a look, and tell me what y'all think about those. So, which one am I going to go with today? I'm kind of going to try these to see how those look like. 
Okay, so I went ahead and pretty much did the rest of my face except for my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and show on camera how I finish out the eyes with the under eye. So I'm just gonna go backwards, this is what I did on the top lid. Finished with setting spray. I'm gonna use the NYX Dewy because I don't want my face to be a little dewy. Finished, not so much matte. I'm gonna try to avoid my eyes because I don't want to mess up the eyes to set spray. So. All right, so that's the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the, with the lips and take my hair down and come back so y'all can see the finished product. So yeah, that is the finished look. I decided to go with a nude lip because my eyes are doing a little razzle dazzle. So I don't wanna do too much on the lip. But so far, I am in love with Auntie Jackie's palette. The colors are pigmented as hell. They blend well together and they're so chocolate girl friendly, which you knew Auntie Jackie was gonna do that because that's just how she is. So I like my look. Let me know what you guys think down below. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay beautiful.